What is up? What is up? It's white out here. I'm back again. Uh, I got another story time for you today. Uh, this time I'm talking about my first girlfriend. Hmm. Pretty fancy. No, not really. But anyways, uh, my first girlfriend, uh, uh, when I was in high school, I, uh, pretty much, I didn't like my high school, so, uh, from my hometown, so I, I waited for an open enrollment and I transferred to a different high school. Um, I am from a town called New London. It's, uh, it's in Wisconsin, and, and uh, it's not that big of a town, but it's not tiny either. Uh... Other than that, I uh, transferred to a town, uh, high school in a town that's pretty much a lot smaller than my town. It's it's basically a little farm town, uh, a lot of farm girls and a lot of farm kids, um, out in the middle of nowhere basically. And I transferred to that school because all the kids and the uh, you know teachers and stuff in my school are pretty much pricks and assholes. I didn't like them at all. So anyway, I uh, waited for an open enrollment, and I transferred to the this little high school in Manuel, Wisconsin. And uh, the reason I chose this school is that's where my nieces and nephews went. Uh, yes, my niece is basically almost the same age as me. Um, I know some some people think that's weird, but I I don't I don't think it's weird. I've been that way all my life, so why should I think it's weird? Uh, but yeah, I transferred to that high school, and um, I met a lot of nice people because they basically they are all around nice people there in that town. Um, and like I said, it's a little farm town. Basically, a lot of people keep to themselves. You know, there's a, your your uh, average once in a while high school gossip type deal that goes on here and there, but that's the same thing deal with any any high school. So. Uh, yeah, I transferred there and I met this girl named Janessa Laos. And, uh, basically, I know we, I was just hanging out with her and my niece once in a while. She's, if I didn't, I didn't mention that she was my niece's friend. Uh, and, uh, basically, I would hang out with uh, my niece at lunchtime and stuff. And, uh, that's how I met this girl. And, basically, she was, uh, she was one of my niece's best friends. And,. You know, after a few times of hanging out with my niece at lunchtime and, uh, in turn hanging out with this girl, because she always hung out with my niece, uh, we kind of hit it off. We started talking, you know, and then, uh, about two weeks into, uh, moving, moving there, two or three weeks into moving, uh, to that high school, uh, I was dating my niece's best friend. <laughs> That's kind of weird, but yeah, I was dating my niece's best friend, and uh, it, it was it, it went great, you know. Uh, I was with this girl for two years, and um, well, it was fun while it lasted, you know. Um, this was actually the first girl I ever really, I mean, I ever really brought home, brought home to the family, you know, per se, considering my niece already knew her; she was part of the family, basically. Uh, but this is the first girl uh, that uh, actually did things with my family and uh, went places with my family. I mean, we took a trip to uh, to uh, Springfield, Illinois, and uh, she came along uh, on that trip as well. Uh, we went to pick up a puppy uh, for my mom, and uh, she went with on that trip. And basically, that's that's where we got started hitting it off, pretty much. And um, I don't know, she was a nice girl and everything, and there's one downside to it, um, her family, she was not supposed to, uh, be dating, uh, thing was, her family, her, their religion didn't allow it, um, she really didn't take to her religion that much, she didn't like it whatsoever, so she, she, you know, she tried to, uh, avoid it whenever she got the chance, and she kinda had a hard time with it. I mean, whenever whenever she wanted to come to my house, she pretty much told her parents that she was going to my niece's house uh, to, you know, hang out. Yeah, so sometimes it kind of got hard. But uh, about after about a year, basically, they kind of found out she was dating somebody, and they were they were kind of mad at first, but they weren't the type of people that would, I mean, crucify her for it. She was just, you know, a teenage girl that just didn't want to abide by their by their religion rules <laughs> um, 
because they should tell you guys what the religion was. Uh, they were Jehovah Witnesses. This is no fucking lie. They were fucking Jehovah Witnesses people. That's right. Her parents were Jehovah's. Uh, I didn't know they were Jehovah's until probably two weeks after I started dating this girl. But I, I stuck with it because she was a nice girl and uh, I enjoyed her company and she was, she, I mean, she was a great girl. And... Uh, there was uh, this actual this one time where she actually her parents wanted me to go to uh, their church with her and sit in on a Jehovah Witnesses uh, session, which was really really awkward for me. I mean, uh, really really awkward. <laughs> it was not the kind of church I'm used to, and I don't think I would ever do it again. Um, but yeah, she. She is a Jehovah Witness, and I dated her for about two years. Uh, we had a lot of fun. She was a nice girl. Um, no, I did not lose my virginity to her. I lost my virginity before that. I'm not even. That's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story time with Whiteout. Um, but anyways, um, maybe I'll bring that up for you. Just leave a comment in the comments down, and let me know if you want to hear that too. Uh, I kind of feel awkward saying telling you about it, but. I will tell you about it because I love commentating, so, yeah. Janessa Lauks was my first, uh, actual girlfriend that I, uh, brought home to the family, let my family meet, and lasted about two years, so. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be doing a story time with Whiteout probably, uh, on a weekly basis, so I'll keep an eye out for a story time with Whiteout each week. And uh, come back here and see what I got to talk about. So, uh, yeah, this gameplay here is about to come to an end. So, uh, I would like that if you would da -da 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 -da, please subscribe, comment, and rate the video whenever this is over. And uh, just, you know, I would comment, you know, let me know when, what, when you met your first girlfriend, when you met your first steady girlfriend, and, uh, you know, all that good stuff. I mean, I think it, I would really like to hear some responses on this, and, uh, yeah. So anyways, this has been a, uh, commentary with Whiteout, so, uh, please subscribe, comment, rate, and let me know what you think. Alright, guys? Peace out! Ha 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 ha. Nice.